Hooyah! This is Robin from the Back Pain Secret Podcast, and today we're going to talk about the five rules of healing back pain. I'm going to be right back after the intro, okay? So, here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us, who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery, heal our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life, and still manage our back pain? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem, and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Okay, guys, uh, so I'm back. Uh, it's been a while, okay? Uh, and I don't really know, you know, what's going on here. It's It's been a been uh, up and down here in my life uh, just recently a uh, lot of big changes regarding my work life okay i can't really go go into it um but it's it's been hectic the last couple of months i'm not going to beat around the bush re- regarding that you know it's it's been hard to to stay focused and get all the shit done uh we went to um Dominican Republic me and the family for two weeks during Christmas here. It was nice to get away. Uh, I can really recommend that place, Dominican Republic. Um, great service, great food, great sun, all that good stuff, you know. Um, and it also gave me time to to think about, you know, what I want to do, how I want to spend my, my precious time here on on, um, on Earth, you know, the, the years I have left. And I made some big decisions, you know, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm acting on them. It's a bit scary, but, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. Um, and uh, it feels good now, you know. But it was really good to get away and have time to think about it uh, in a different environment. Whenever I make a, a big decision, usually when I don't go go leave Sweden, I go to where I grew up in the countryside. You know, I spend time in, in the woods and stuff like that, uh, walking around, just uh, turning off... Uh, whatever shit you have on, you know, uh, phones, all of that, you know, you need some peace and quietness. And it's hard to find peace and quietness now in, t- in today's society, you know. So that's what's going on, guys. I'm going to keep keep you updated as we go here, but but regarding what I'm doing uh, in the future, I'm definitely going to be working with back pain and, and spreading the message, but it's just different forms of it, you know. Anyway, so today's topic, my friends, is the five rules of healing back pain the five rules of healing back pain and as always guys i have had this um one of these patients i had a few years back you know and it's a made-up name of course you know so it's it's uh, to predict to protect uh, the innocence if you say like that we can call her rachel right and rachel was was married she had two kids she had a very loving husband she had a nice home the kids were well behaved Uh, Her husband gave her a lot of love, you know, really treated her well. Um, She had friends that she hung out with, you know. She had a well-paying job. Uh, She had stimulating work as well. Uh, You might say they were like a high-achieving family, you know. They they really had the the perfect life if if you looked outside. It really looked like they had everything going for them, you know. She had had back pain for the last two years, and and uh, Rachel had been um, working or growing up. She was heavily into dancing, you know, and also she was doing figure skating. So she had she really knew how to work hard and be really dedicated and get shit done, you know. And she was a bit of a perfectionist as well. And this stuff really uh, added on when she was joining, like like. Just now in her life, she she exercised every morning, you know, seven days a week she was up. Uh, she was a vegetarian, very, very particular what she ate, you know, watch her, va- her, her weight really, really carefully. Didn't really watch TV, read a lot of books, um, had a lot of expensive clothes uh, and and ver- was very, very particular how she looked, right? Very, very, she, she, she spent a lot of time and energy getting dressed in the morning, getting all prepped, you know, uh, had the right clothes, uh, designer clothes, and then watch, always had the latest iPhone, you know. And and uh, she went to release party, parties. She had a few, like, half-famous friends, so she got invited to them as well. So outside, you know, if you, you were looking at her Facebook page or whatever, she was telling me it looked like she had the perfect life, you know. Everything was just looked picture-perfect 
to, to use a, an outdated phrase there. So internally, though, guys, that was the big problem. Internally, she, she always felt sad, she was telling me. She never felt uh, any gratitude, any thankfulness, you know. She just felt like life was passing her by. And she all, always felt like her, her friends, they were doing so much better than herself, you know. Like she, she, they were, she never, she always felt like she, she couldn't keep up with them, you know. And she was looking on, on this, uh, the, the Facebook feed, you know, on all the pictures and all the parties and stuff. And even though she was doing all of that, you know, she always felt like her life was, was not as good as her friends, you know. And she had also uh, like this, this frustration uh, regarding her exercise routine, you know, because she was exercising seven days a week, but she was still in back pain. You know, she, she she thought, you know, she had friends that never exercised whatsoever, you know, and they didn't have any back pain. And she felt that that was was kind of a bummer, you know, it wasn't 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 right. You know, why was she in back pain when all of her friends or a lot of her friends that didn't exercise and didn't take care of themselves worked in back pain? You no. Know? And she also felt like a big uh, frustration inside of not feeling good you know she just wanted to feel happy and and relaxed and enjoy her family because she could see that she, she had all this stuff around her you know but she couldn't figure this out you know and she was when she really got down to it she was telling me i'm really frustrated that that i'm not loving my life you know what we know we just have the, this one life and I'm, I'm really feeling inside that i'm 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 i'm, I'm just pissing it away basically you know then Rachel hit kind of a wall, you know. Uh, her back pain, for some reason, got worse, you know. She was telling me she was going horseback riding or something during the the um, uh, some some trip she went on. And she never fell off or anything, but she was on a horse for like five or six hours. They were going on this trail. And after that, when she came back, she had very, very severe back pain in her lower back and in her right buttocks and down her leg, you know. And this always, like became worse when she was sitting down and also when she 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 felt the felt depressed you know she couldn't she couldn't put her words on it but whenever she she felt sorry for herself and didn't really really uh, feel good the back pain increased okay um she gained some weight because she needed to take some time off from work and that really bugged her you know because she was really really important for her to keep the weight and she was looking constantly on, on Facebook. She, she had this extra time, you know, and she was looking on this, like the Facebook feed all the time, you know, looking at what, what all of her friends were doing and seeing that they were getting promotions at work, okay? They were going on trips. They were going to these parties. And she felt left behind, okay? And that increased her back pain even more, you know? So also, guys, it's very important. People that, that exercise quite a lot, if you are exercising every day or every second day and then you just stop, you know, then you're going to start to feel depressed. You're going to start to feel more worried about what's going on in your life. And that's very, very uh, natural because it's the endorphins. You know, you need this boost. OK, so if you're in pain right now and you're not exercising, you're not doing stuff, you need to start walking. OK, 40 minutes, first thing in the morning, that's going to start like the system is just going to going to get going again. OK, and, and at the base of it, she started to feel like a failure. Like she was really, really failing at everything in her life. And it was it was a horrible feeling Rachel had. So she came to me around this time, you know, and we, we sent her for a scan for her back. She got her exercises, you know, she came the first time she did this. But I sensed that there was other stuff going on in her life, you know, and she came back to me. She told me, Robin, I don't I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I felt like we got a connection the first time I was here and I'm going to like just. I don't really know what to do to, to beat my back pain, but also my life. So first off, what I told you, you know, I'm not a psychologist, okay? I can give you some tips and stuff, but if you, you feel like you have some some uh, big psycholo psychological uh, stuff going on in your life, you really need to to meet a psychologist, you know? But I can give you a few tips tips um, that I, I work from, you know, myself. First off, I told Rachel, you know, you need to get a vision, for your life, you know, you need to get a vision for your life. I mean, 
how 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 do you want to be how do you want to show up every morning you know what how do you want to show up when you meet people you know what's your dreams what's your relationships you want to have with people what do you want to contribute to 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 the world you know what do you want to be remembered for you know these are heavy heavy questions and i'm not saying that you're going to figure it all out at once but like I, take a piece of paper you know put this shit down on paper you know and it's going to take time take a week take two weeks take three weeks but you need to like put down what what's your vision for your life you know is your life perf perfect the way it is you know maybe you you've already reached it or do you want to like move, move to africa and help, help poor kids starving kids to to make your, your life feel important you know you need to figure this stuff out okay no one else is going to do it and also I told Rachel, you know, you got to believe in your ability to figure shit out. You know, it's it's really important. You have to have this mentality. And uh, even if you don't know what's going on in your life, stuff happens, you know, and, and there, there are situations you, you go into. You have to have this confidence after living a few years, you know, that if I just focus on it, you know, the problem, I will master it. You know, you have to. Put down all the, the 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 resources you have, you know, and all the 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 past experiences that you've gone through. You know, you figured a lot of shit out in your life already. You know, so you have to have this internal belief that whatever happens to you, you know, I'm gonna find a way out. I'm gonna find a way. And if I don't know the, the answer myself, I'm gonna find a person that's gonna help me do it, or I'm gonna read about it. I'm gonna make research. You know, because any problem that you have in your life. You know that someone else has already figured that out. Okay, you're, you're not unique. All the problems in the world, they're they're all figured out. And if you don't have the answer for it, there's there's hundreds, thousands of people that know the answer out there. Your uh, job is to find this person or, or 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 read about it and find it. Okay, so you have to have that internal belief. And also, I told Rachel, you know, you have to have fun. Okay, when you came in to me the first time, Rachel, I told her it looked like you you you. You just hated everything, you know, and you're kind of like, I'm not saying that you can need to be upbeat all the time. You know, everyone can be down once in a while, but you got to bring the fun. OK, just decide internally, whatever happens to me during my day, I'm going to bring the fun. OK, I'm going to be the joy. OK, I'm going to be the positive person. OK, even if if co-workers <clears throat> treat you bad, you know, if if you. Uh, your other relationships treat you bad or are negative and just want to like put put the try to change your plans you know you bring the joy i'm going to be the happy person i'm going to be the positive person okay that's the attitude you have to have and in the beginning rachel chances are that you're going to need to fake it because you've been living this way for like 40 years now okay it takes some time to change that and also i told number four you got to be uh, patient but, but persistent you got to be patient but persistent to beat your back pain, to change your mood, to change anything in your life, okay? I, I see this a lot, and I've struggled with this uh, when I was younger. I always wanted stuff to happen like this, okay? And when it didn't happen like this, I got frustrated. I, I started to beat myself up, okay? But then as we age, you know, I'm 45 years old now, so I know, what's, know myself a bit better, you know? I know that stuff doesn't happen overnight, okay? You have to just... Be patient and persistent, patient and persistent. Just look at this, what I'm doing now with, with the podcast and all the stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm putting out to the world with back pain. You know? Half of the time, I don't really know the, the technician stuff and, and technical terms or anything like that. I'm in my bedroom right now because I, I, right now, this is the quietest place I have in my life, okay? But it's not perfect, but, but I'm patient and persistent. I know internally that this stuff, with back pain this is my contribution to the world i want to get this stuff out i want to help people i want to help one million people to reduce their back pain okay so i'm generous because put good stuff out every day three four times a day okay but i'm patient i'm persistent i know i'm going to be better as we go but right now this is at the stage i'm at and that's good okay i'm learning okay i'm learning i'm putting in the work and, and last thing, number five, love and respect others, Rachel. You got to love and respect others. When you when you talk about people around, around you, when, when I hear you talk about people, Rachel, it almost feels like you feel like you're better than them, okay? 
that you're, you're, you're more entitled to them, okay? You have to understand that even though people around you have other ideas, other uh, thoughts, you know, than you have, they're not evil, okay? They have their own, you, you have to allow people to have their own rules and, and accept that they're going to live their life in other ways. And it's, it's, it's really, really important that, that you that you don't think that your way of life is, is the way of life everyone should lead, you know, live their life. Everyone has diff, different, diff, different setup, you know, different experiences that they, they, they bring to the game. So we made kind of a plan for Rachel to make this very concrete, you know, because it's hard when you speak about this. So it was the first, it was the vision for the life. Also believe in your ability to figure out stuff. Okay. Have fun no matter what. Be patient and persistent and love and respect other other others playing the game of life. Okay. So we made this plan. So for the vision of our life, we said every day for 30 minutes uh, for two weeks, first thing in the morning, she should put down on paper what her vision was in her life, meaning what you wanted to do, what you wanted, the relationships, what you want to contribute in life, what you want to be, you know? And I told her, you know, don't, don't be perfectionist. Just, just get a piece of paper and just write for 30 minutes. Okay. Don't don't give a shit if it, it doesn't turn out right. Just write, okay? You want you want um, maximum letters there on, on paper, okay? And then believe in your ability to figure stuff out. I told her, you know, first off, you need to start walking, okay? For your back pain, for your endorphins, for everything. So we made it plan that every morning after she she written the the the, the piece of paper there, what you want her vision for her life. She was going to go for walk. And she was going to do this mantra in her head, you know, all I need is within me now. And I got this uh, and I've used this from from Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins. Uh, it was a, um, a, you could Google him. He, he's, he's done a lot of good stuff in the world. But anyway, so all I need is within me now. I told her, just go for 10 minutes. And all you say, all I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now to boost your confidence. Just understand that anything that happens in your life, you're going to figure this shit out, okay? Also, number three, have fun no matter what. I told her, you know, you need to start to smile. You're, you're a pretty lady, you know. You look good. You take care of yourself. But it doesn't matter what clothes you have on, you know, or how smart you are or how, how perfect you are. The best thing you can do, have a big smile on your face, okay? Smile, for Christ's sake, Rachel, you know. And I told her, you know, I, 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 I actually have an, kind of an exercise you can do. Like every morning when you go in, uh, you can actually go in and, and smile for a minute in, in, in your bathroom mirror, you know. It sounds really stupid, but it works, you know. And whenever you meet someone, have a big smile, say something positive, and, and, and if they ask you how, how, how you feel, just say you're awesome, okay? You're awesome. I'm, I'm awesome today, okay? And also this with the being patient and persistent, okay? It's really important. Uh, first off, I told you, you know, eliminate all your social apps for one year, okay? I'm not saying you should take them away forever, but for one year, you need to, like, just, just break from that. Just get your phone out right now, and we're going to delete all your apps, okay? And also do that on a com computer, okay? You don't need to, to, to uh, take away your accounts. Just eliminate all the apps, okay? Do it for 30 days first, you know, and see what happens. And then we had number five, love and respect, okay, to other people. And I told Rachel, you know, the best thing that happened in my life is uh, I just stop to have expectations on other people, okay? Right now, I don't have any expectations on anyone whatsoever, you know. People do whatever they want, okay, and I'm fine with that, you know. They can treat me good, they can talk shit about me, or they can tr treat me well, you know, I don't give a shit. You know, if, if they treat me bad or they're, they're not treating me with dignity and respect, I just leave the situation, okay? I don't really get upset anymore, you know? I get all kinds of mail uh, from social networks because I'm on, online here trying to, to spread the word about back pain. And I get some hate mail, you know? And in the beginning, it really made me upset, you know? But right now, I don't give a shit anymore. I couldn't give a shit. I know the stuff that I'm giving out here is just trying to, to make the world... A bit, Bit of error. I'm trying to help people. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. And if you don't like me, 
tough. Okay, go and look at, at something else. Okay, I don't hate you. I don't have any any opinion whatsoever. You know. So, this went on now, and she went came back to me like a couple of minutes or a few times during months. You know, but after like a year, she came back, and eighty percent of her back pain was gone, and that was good. She was very happy about that. She made some new friends in some some different areas in her life. Friends that she didn't think she, people or people or categories of people that she never thought she was like comfortable hanging out with before. Okay. She also did some new activities. She started to paint and uh, she started to meditate. Okay. And she felt, I think the most important thing she told me, she felt peace inside, inside of herself. She felt peaceful. That was good. So the transformation she did, Rachel was, she had a big smile on her face. Okay. And she actually, when she came last time, she was wearing sweatpants, okay? And this was a, a woman that came with, like, really high-end uh, Gucci purse the first couple of times and a business suit on, okay? And she worked a bit less, like 70 or 80%, so she could spend more time with her kids and, and not, not uh, be so active all the time, you know? She started to meditate, and she also spends more and more time in nature, Okay. So what can we all learn? You know, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I know I'm, I'm, I screw up on this once in a while, but you really need to have a vision in your life. Uh, you have to believe in your ability to be able to figure stuff out. Have fun. Just make that decision today. You know, whatever happens, you know, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to bring the joy. I'm going to make sure that I enjoy the ride through my own life. You know, even if pay, or, or people around me aren't that happy, I'm going to bring the joy. Be patient, be persistent, stay focused, but understand that the stuff that you want to happen is not going to happen overnight, okay? And also treat people with love and respect. Understand that they're not evil people, even if they have a different opinion than you, okay? They think that they want to make their, their world a better place, like with the thoughts they have and, and the ideas and the, uh, the stuff they do, okay? But it might not be aligned with you, but it's not. they're not evil. Guys, if you enjoy this episode, spread the word, word to your friends, family, whoever you know who has back pain. I want to help one million, million people to reduce their back pain, and you can really help me out by spreading the word. If you want a free book, uh, you can visit backpainsecrets.com. Uh, just pay your shipping and handling. It's uh, sold over 10,000 copies right now, and I'll be back tomorrow. So take care. I, have a, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Want more Back Pain Secrets? Then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book, Back Pain Secrets, at backpainsecrets.com. Inside this book, you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.